Our brains are designed to resist change because change is unfamiliar, which can mean danger. However, the unknown is where the potential for growth lives. We must hop the fence of our fear in order to flourish and become a better version of ourselves. Good morning. It is Peso Pluma Day. Just stopped to get a coffee and we're heading out. I want one, but I don't know. I'm between the bear or the bunny. I don't know which one. The I want. bear goes with your room one. You think so? But what if I want pink? Yeah. But what if I want the bear? We are currently at H Mart, and it is dangerous because I want everything. Budget went out the window. I'm gonna get this because it's so cute. I'm not a huge stuffed animal person, but I like functional stuffed animals. Like this, I can throw on my bed and use as a pillow. There's little ones. And you know you're grown when you're excited about. This is the whole reason that I come. These are like crack. Literally. They look like it too. <laughs> We're legit in line just to get them. We're not yeah, even staying in line. Mm -hmm. I know. Yes. Me getting this just because it's cute and pink. But also I do love these. I love these are the ones that I'm obsessed with. But I'll I can get these back at you. home. But I want this one. I'll try that one with you. Okay. But maybe we can try it today. Oh, but by the time we get to the hotel, maybe. Well, I mean, we could just try it literally as we are but in I the think car. there's only two of them in here. Yeah, but we can't. There's one, two, no, three. No, I know. Each. I mean, like the sticks. Okay, we should try one each. Oh, but I also heard that orange ones are good. Just get one each. All of them, though? You only live once. You only live once. So who's paying for this? You are. We're only gonna get two. I'm gonna get one. You guys can pay with it. Did you pay? No. What do we do though? You pay. Touch the screen and start shooting. Okay. Should we do like? Brand. I know, so oh, no, so no. No. Guys, we have 85 seconds. Oh. <laughs> okay, and then we were rushing. Wait, you're not gonna be able to see us. You're not gonna be able to see us. Okay, hold on. Oh, here, Brenda, you're taller. So okay, you're taller. Oh my god. <laughs> Cute. <clears throat> I think we select them, no? Yeah. This one. I like. <laughs> I like that one. This one? Yeah. This, this one. one. Okay. And then that one. Mm. No, that one should be third. There we go. That's good. Brandon! Cute! It asked you if you wanted a QR code, it would've came over here, so we'll Oh, uh, man. And now we're at the most dangerous spot for me. Daiso. Yeah, she's gonna spin a lot. These stickers are beautiful. Look at these. One, two, three. I'm blacking out. Somebody stop me. Somebody stop me. I'm blacking out. I'm blacking out. Somebody stop me. Somebody stop me. <sighs> I am in physical pain. I am in physical pain. <sighs> okay, I got Tangulo, but I think it's melted. <laughs> It's all melted. But it was gonna be so good. They're melted anyways. The strawberries were good though. The sugar is delicious. It just would have hit a little extra with mm. the, oh yeah, this one's like so melted. Ah, I'm way embarrassed, I think. Mmm. Mmm. I just don't like biting. Frozen things. Mm. And the last one we got is grapes. We're waiting to see if we can get some Korean barbecue. Usually it's full. Yeah, I wanted to go try a different yeah, place. Oh, Mira, these are a little more frozen. I think the, the more we go, the more we go down, the more frozen they are. I know. Mm. Mm. I would say grapes are a bit sweet. Mm -hmm. 
There was some on the strawberry. We can go get Korean barbecue. Very delicious. Changhulu. So good. My mom liked the oranges more. I like the strawberries more. I like the strawberries the most. I like the grapes second because they have more flavor than the oranges. Really? I like the I like the I like oranges the more because they weren't yeah. as sweet than the like grapes. The grapes at the end, they left me the, the, the Yeah, the, I have a big old chunk here. of sugar. <laughs> what the heck? Oh. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Anyways, we are currently at Korean barbecue. Where is it? What did you just give me? Do you like it? Fish cake? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no. Great. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That's potato salad. That's quite tasty. Anyways, want to try this one? We're currently at Mana. What is that? I don't know. I've never had it. I think that's like bean sprouts. Hey, Christina, what's that white stuff? The noodly looking thing. Bean sprouts? Which one? That what Brenda's grabbing. Not um, bean sprouts. We love an educated woman. Thank you. Okay, you can put the meat on. Yeah. Is it yeah? Yeah. Just do uh, a little bit at a time. It's like nothing. Yeah. It has no flavor. The main reason I come. Okay, press my norm. Ooh, they're extra dripping. They're juicy. That was dangerous. This is my best with my shirt. That's your wood? I best with my shirt. What if you see me in the nose blades? I can't have... Why'd you wear Stains your pencil blue my shirt? For real? <laughs> you didn't wear your pencil blue my shorts, but you wore your shirt? The reason I wore a pencil blue my shirt is because I'm gonna get merch there and I'm just gonna throw it on top of this. Me. Because I tried to find some cute outfits, but I could not find one that I liked. That's what you wanted. And then they create What does it taste like? It's delicious. What's this? Spicy though. <laughs> okay, it is currently. What time is it? 5:51. 5:51. Time to start getting ready for the Best of Luma concert. Honestly, I'm not gonna do much, but. <laughs> I have these little dark spots. I don't know if you can see them. If I zoom in, you will see them. They've been annoying me and messing with my confidence for a while now. They look like snake bites. Huh? My hotness? <laughs> no, my confidence. Oh. That's so funny. You told no lies, but <laughs> I'm just joking. I clearly don't believe that. So I'm going to start off with... A little bit of sunscreen and honestly I love this sunscreen not just for the sunscreen but I feel like it's a good little primer a little base it makes my skin look extra glowy also we did take a nap as soon as we got here so my bangs are all messed up and I just re-wet them put my curlers in and hoping that they turn out all right I was gonna curl my hair but honestly I'm lazy so Peso Pluma has been bringing out special guests Pretty much in every concert. I think there's been some that haven't gotten special guests. So I hope we're not one of those. I'm finally using the little puff. Concert starts at 8.30, but they've been saying that he comes out really late. I've been training myself to stay awake till at least 10. <laughs> so I'm hoping and praying he does not come out later than that. Honestly, I think if, you know, once the concert's going on, I'll stay awake. But if he takes forever to come out, I might just sleep in the stadium. So we'll see how that goes. Do you guys think that they'll mistake us as twins? Because <laughs> we're like the exact same. The only thing differentiating us, the only reason they know we're not twins is because of the shoes. It could be. But even then, this separates us. We're walking to Pixel Pluma.
damn, we are so in the nosebleeds. We have the wall. <laughs> I don't think it's that but bad, this is good though, because we can stand up and not care if people are bothered by us standing up. You know what I mean? I said so. Yeah, two fifteen. Thank God for Zoom. Oh yeah, we're gonna be good. I hope he plays flowers by Miley Cyrus. This is a Peso Pluma concert. Brenda, I don't mean to kill your vibe, but that guy's wearing the same exact shirt as you. You're wearing the same shirt as me. We are back home and back to reality. So sad, but it is what it is. Anyways, quick recap on the trip. It was so much fun. I truly enjoyed it. The concert itself was amazing. Such a fun time. I think seeing Peso Pluma live is a great time and I would highly recommend anyone go to it. The only thing is I would say that I need to know if anybody else has been to the Footprint Center for another concert because I think that it's not a good concert venue. I personally was not able to hear what he was singing at what times. Like I could hear the beats and the sound obviously, but it was like, I think so loud in there that it echoed because it's like a dome shape. I feel like it took away from the experience because I couldn't fully sing along with him because I didn't know where he was. Like it was just so loud, but it wasn't so loud that it hurt my ears. It's just that it echoed so loud so I couldn't hear. I don't know if that makes sense to anyone. So if anyone's been to the Footprint Center for a concert, let me know if you also had a bad sound experience. But regardless of that though, it was still so much fun and I was able to still like sing along here and there and I was able to hear the music obviously so it was just it was a great time and I don't regret it but I, I just noticed that with the sound because when I went to go see Rebelde at the Glendale Arena I felt like that one was really loud but everything was so clear and I think maybe because it's more of like an extended venue it doesn't echo as much versus the Phoenix Suns Arena is like higher up so I think it just like echoed but anyways <laughs> I am excited now that I'm home because I'm going to be starting another 75 day challenge. So you guys know I did the 75 soft and then I did 75 medium and now I'm going to do 75 hard. So what's going to differentiate my 75 hard from my other ones because I feel like all of them have been very similar and it's still going to be similar is that I'm going to make sure that I am 100% consistent with the walking in the afternoon or like the afternoon workout because with the other ones I feel like I wasn't as strict with it with myself. like. On the days where I could, I went. The days where I couldn't, I didn't. And I maybe tried to do like a an at-home workout and then probably walk like a couple of times. But, you know, not all my fault. It's just it was really hot outside and I just couldn't be out there. But the weather's supposed to get so much nicer now. So I am looking forward to that and I love being outside. I hate the summertime because I am stuck indoors and I love being outdoors. So now that the weather's gonna be a little nicer, I feel like I'll finally be able to enjoy that more. Let me share with you guys what my goals are 
for the 75 hard. So I'm gonna try to prioritize, I'm not try, I'm gonna prioritize stretching in the morning. And that is before and after my workout because recently I've just been jumping into my workouts. And then afterwards I do a really quick stretch, but I feel like that's not helping me with my recovery. And so I just wanna make sure that I'm taking more time, at least like five minutes before and after to warm up and then stretch at the end because recently i've been struggling with recovery and i don't know if it's because like my body's gearing up for my period that usually happens when i am going to get my period or i'm on my period i feel like i take more time to recover and i don't know if it's that or if it is that i just haven't been stretching so i'm just going to make sure that i am prioritizing stretching because we don't want to have any workout injuries number two is my morning workout obviously done that always do that three i'm gonna prioritize having a heavy breakfast because i just feel like it gives me the most energy and when i did my first 75 challenge i was prioritizing having like high protein breakfast and like finding some sort of healthy carb in there and i felt at my greatest so we're gonna prioritize that again for afternoon walk i put workout or walk but i think i just decided right now that i'm going to just prioritize the walk that is it set one goal go after it be consistent with it so we're going to do an afternoon walk five is have a consistent sleep routine so i had nine to five but that's another thing i'm going to change is i'm going to do 10 to 5 because since i started training myself to go to sleep at 10 it's been so nice to have that extra hour like literally my afternoons feel so much longer even though it's just one hour it feels like i have a whole life after work versus before for some reason i felt like i had to do all of these things before i went to bed and then wake up and do it all over again so i think i'm gonna continue to go to sleep at 10 but wake up at five and that's still a good amount of hours it's like seven hours of sleep and i think it's enough it's just that i have to get my body back on that routine i actually put this on number eight but it kind of goes with this one it's establishing a night routine and i think that that will help me also fall asleep at 10 exactly and wake up at five because having a night routine if you struggle with sleeping set up a night routine like for example like i'm going to be going to sleep at 10 at 9 i turn my phone off i wash my face do my skincare brush my teeth have a little tea do a little meditation and then maybe put on like a little show or something but like having those consistent steps puts your body in rest mode and then your body knows okay what's next it's sleep and so it starts to get tired and then you lay down knock out i used to struggle so much to sleep i would put my phone down lay down toss and turn couldn't sleep and then i was like okay what's going on so then i established that night routine and i swear to you as soon as i hit the bed i'm out technically number six is meditate before and after bed so that also goes with that just very nice to wind down at the end of the day with a little meditation and then wake up with a little meditation it also helps me transition from deep sleep to like a light sleep and then i can wake up better so my alarm goes off at 4 40 and then i snooze for 20 minutes then it goes off at 5 and then i still don't want to get up so then i sit up and i just cover myself in my blanket and i lay there turn on a little guided meditation and it's like a little extra 10 minutes of sleep but it's not heavy sleep where I don't want to get up after those 10 minutes. So I do that little meditation and then I can transition a little bit better and wake up. So last one is eating only home cooked meals Monday through Friday. I'm excited to do another little 75 challenge. And actually something we're going to add to here is I'm going to work on posting weekly videos again because I have really slacked on that one. And I feel like I really miss having that consistency with posting and just kind of like challenging myself creatively to come up with a video and then sit down and edit that video and just pick up my camera and talk and work through my feelings and emotions in my videos. And it's just, I miss that feeling. And I feel like I kind of stepped away from it because I just started to feel with self-doubt that my life was very repetitive and it was the same every single day. I'm like, nobody cares. And I just need to remove that doubt again because I make videos because I enjoy it, not because I'm trying to meet other people's expectations. And I think I just needed to realize that again.
So I'm making a protein shake, but this isn't my breakfast. I just kind of drink it like it's a drink. <laughs> So I'm going to make some machaca. Well, not really make machaca because I'm kind of lazy. I really don't want to take the time to cut up the tomatoes and the onions and all of that. I have been struggling to wake up on time. And so I did wake up a little bit earlier today. I woke up at, I think I got up by like 520. But ideally, I would love to wake up much earlier so that I have more time here in the morning to make my food and not be in a rush. So, today's day one. It's not going to be perfect, but tomorrow we will do better. Well, I'm going to cut up a little orange for myself. So that I can enjoy a little snack while my food is cooking. Okay, don't mind me. Just decided to switch my top. But I don't know how I feel about this top. It's like... It feels a little weird. I think because I'm just not used to wearing these like fancier tops. But I actually thrifted a couple of work shirts a while back. And they didn't really fit as... I would have wanted to, they were like a little tight, but recently, since your girl's been shaving up, they fit now. And I'm like trying to wear them, but I just feel a little like costumey since I'm not used to it. For example, the other day I wore this one. And I actually really liked it. I got a lot of compliments, but again, it just feels kind of like new territory. So I have to get used to it. And also they're more like body con, so it's just like crazy to be wearing things like this because I'm just so not used to wearing such form-fitting clothes. I don't know why but my Goodwill usually has better long sleeve shirts than like short sleeve tops which is why I find a lot of long sleeve shirts and then I'm always wearing long sleeves because I swear my Goodwill only has good stuff in the long sleeve section. That's where I find most of my stuff. So I'm grateful that the fall time is around the corner because then I'll be able to wear them more. All right, we are home for lunch. So I think I'm going to make myself some shredded beef tostadas and call it a day because I also don't have that much time during my lunch. I have been loving having some like shredded beef or shredded chicken on hand because it's just so easy to literally toss. Like it's already cooked, but I'm just gonna fry it up. Okay, normally I love to make my own tostadas because I just love the taste of like the fried tortilla with all the oil. So good. But today, since we are on a time crunch for lunch and I don't really wanna take the time to make the tostadas, I'm just gonna have some pre-made ones. I forgot to plug in my mic. There's this part of my room that hisses. It's usually over by like the two corners. I don't know, like something in the wiring in the walls makes my microphone hiss and so I have to disconnect it and then I forget to reconnect it. But I'm gonna try the little uh, strawberry roll cake because I have not tried it yet and my food's not ready and I'm hungry. So we're gonna try just a little, little taste of it. It's so cute and adorable. Like, look at that. <laughs> so these are actually like just rolls and they're already separated. But I don't wanna like touch all of them. See? Ah. Of course, leave it to me. Leave it to me. Usually I like to like peel it. The way I eat my roll cake is I peel it. And then it has the little cream on the inside. But today we're just going to take a bite out of it. Mm. That is divine. Mm. I love that. My favorite part about these though is that they actually don't taste overly sweet. They're so good. I haven't shown you guys but... We changed the layout of the living room. So we used to have like one couch over here, one couch over here, but my parents rearranged it and they moved some of the stuff that was over on this wall to that wall. 
And then now we have an L shape for the couch. I love how this looks. And it's so much better of a layout to watch the TV too. I love it. And then we have just more room here for the walkway. Looks great, looks great. So I have decided that we are going to make my tostada like extended flautas. Am I using a fork to spread my mayo? Yes. Also, I actually have to shout out this YouTube video that I came across this morning because I've been having some little feelings of doubt and I think these feelings of doubt come from not having any movement in my life. Like I'm telling you guys, the last couple of weeks I was struggling a little bit because it kind of slowed down with my 75 challenges. And then the whole thing with going back to school, that kind of also made me feel a little like up in the air because... I, I obviously do want to go back to school, but I feel like after the whole thing with me deciding to go into IT and then realizing that was not for me and having to back out of going to school or like delaying the progress with school, it just kind of made me feel a little like, dang, do I even want to go back to school? Like it had me like doubting and questioning. And so that was just something that was taking up all of like my thoughts okay these are not going to look aesthetic whatsoever like i'm literally just trying to have my lunch here i feel like i needed to hear something that would set me back in the right direction and i heard that today i came across this video she said everything that i needed to hear like just about complacency and how you you get used to being where you are and sometimes you don't realize that you stop growing because you're scared to grow. And so you just kind of decide, okay, you know what? I'm fine where I am. I'm not going to do anything else to change it. And then years down the line, you're going to be like, I wish I would have changed something. I wish I would have gone back to school. I wish I would have quit that job. I wish I would have applied for that job. I wish I would have tried again. But then you never did anything and then you just stay there and you're stuck and you accept that like defeat, that failure and you just stay where you are. But making that decision to keep trying no matter how hard it is, no matter how much of a challenge it is and just keep moving forward, not stopping, no matter how many setbacks you have will get you to where you want to be. Food is ready. That's good. All right, just got home from work and it is actually so nice outside. It is 91 degrees, which sounds insane. It sounds insane, but being from Arizona, like that is sweater weather. I am not kidding you. It, it doesn't even feel like it's 91. Like there are days where you can feel like it's 91 and it's hot, but today it feels so nice. The sun's not strong, it's windy, it is beautiful. It really does feel like fall time. Walking makes me so happy. I'm in a good mood just because the weather is nice. It's windy. Well, like slightly windy, not too windy where it's annoying, but windy enough where I can close my eyes and pretend I'm in the Rosa de Guadalupe. The sun is not too overpowering. It's not too hot. It feels so good. Let's pause for a Rosa de Guadalupe moment. Yeah, that's good. Time to do some skincare. This is a new product that I bought more recently. I got this at Marshalls. I would always see the skincare girlies put on these little round patches on their face. And I've always wanted some, but I never knew where to find them. And then I finally found some at Marshalls. Honestly, I went crazy at Marshalls recently. Me and my sister had a little a sister date last weekend and so we decided 
very bad decision to go to Marshall's and just look around, see what they have. Marshall's is one of those stores you don't really walk around and just see what they have. You end up walking out with multiple things. So that was a bad decision on our part, but I did find a lot of good things. And then I also picked up these. I have not tried these yet. They're Sika Recipe, Sika Recipe, Green Tangerine Daily Vitamix. And then I also got these little nose strips, which is supposed to be really good for removing blackheads. I did try these and I'll be honest, I did not see a difference. And then, guys, I got this for like $15 or $14 and originally it's like $50. It was a steal. I actually really like Indie Lee. I have tried an Indie Lee face wash before and I liked how gentle it was. So I ran into this one and I was like, you're coming home with me. 